Finally, I'm a little bit out of the wind and I can try talk into the microphone. It's so windy up here, but it's an absolutely amazing day. The sun has come out, it's shining. It's actually quite warm in places. Yesterday, the UK basically went into lockdown mode. You can go to the shop, you can go to the pharmacy, um, strictly essentials and practice social distancing, stay two meters away from anybody at all times, and you're allowed to go out for one exercise a day. Now, I feel quite lucky. All right, get across this. I think, I think down here. I do feel very lucky having just moved to the Highlands and this is my my exercise for the day. I've gone out to walk a hill. And oops, let me just jump this. I've come out here, not very far from where I live. But the great thing is that I was able to get in my car from um, from our driveway, I could drive up here to the middle of nowhere. There was a lay-by, I stopped there and I walked into the hills and I haven't seen a single other person. So, even though I'm outside, oh, oh, even though I'm outside, I'm actually not near anyone. But I feel quite lucky and privileged that I live in a place like this where you can actually do that. I feel for everybody who's in a city right now and not be able to come outside to experience nature like this. So I have to stop vlogging every now and then because the wind just picks up. And I don't think my microphone can handle it, so you probably won't be able to hear me. Okay, wind died down a bit. I'm gonna try again. So. UK is on a shutdown and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to come out with one of these little daily vlogs every day. Now I do have a few challenges in my way. Number one challenge is myself. Now the other obstacle is that we just moved into a new place and we don't actually have internet in our place yet. So currently I've just been using my phone and I think I have about 30 gigs a month uh, allowance but I've been using that as a hotspot and I've probably gone through half of it in the last few days and I've also had to, up to upload last videos which are several, several gigabytes high, large. It's a red grouse just sitting right in front of me, perched out in a little bit of heather. That's incredible. Let me let me try and get my camera without spooking it. It's looking right at me. It's probably about 25 meters away from me. Right next to me, so I haven't been able to see them. 
This is the first one that's actually just been standing out like that. That'd be cool if we could get to see some more grouse here. So one of the reasons why I picked this, this hill to walk, because I'm doing a bit of research and it's likely there are black grouse around here and black grouse lacking. Now, I wouldn't expect them to be right here. They do like, they do like a bit of trees as well. But hopefully on the other side of this hill, the kind of area that I want to look out for. So this is partly an exercise walk and partly a little bit of recce for hopefully being able to photograph some black grouse this year. And here a raven. That would be a great one for this week's challenge. Can't see yet though. I caught a glimpse of it with my binoculars, but I, I couldn't, I don't think I could get the camera on it. I'm gonna hunker down a bit out of the wind. I want to say though, thank you guys so much for joining in on the hashtag Corvid Not COVID challenge. Uh, it's been really cool to see everybody joining in, tagging me, sending me messages. Um, loving it, loving what you guys are doing so far, and it'd be awesome if you can see even more coming up to the weekend. Love exploring these hills. Can hear a meadow pipit singing. Can hear the raven earlier. There's something. Something else this way. It's quite whistly. I'm not sure what it is. So, flushed two red grouse. I don't know if I flushed them, they're further up there. I probably did, there's none, there's nothing else around. But in that direction where they were flying, there's something singing there, something whistly. And there's not that many birds that are up here, so I'm gonna get my app out, I'm gonna have a listen, see if I can recognize that. There's a few usual suspects that would be up around here. Rusty Collins bird app. Okay, what do I have here? I'm thinking some sort of wader. Let's try. Let's try golden plover. That's it. <laughs> it's a golden plover. You can hear that. I'll stop it. Here again. So I'll try to hold this out of the wind. That's brilliant. I can't believe I got it right away. So yeah, there's not that many birds that call this their home and that breed up here. The golden plover is one of them. And it has this sad kind of a whistle. It's been a long time since I've heard it, so I've kind of forgotten about it. But um, that's really cool. I'd love to get a photo of them. Let's try it. There's a path that goes down this way behind me here. Whew. Sorry, I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home and I'm not making these videos to brag or show off that I can be out in this landscape. It's more to share it and I'm not just I'm not just sharing it for your guys' sake, I'm also sharing it for my own sanity. So 
I appreciate you guys watching, following along, and joining in on the adventures that I have up here. This is certainly is that. It feels, it feels like an adventure. But I hope you guys can hear me. This microphone is really getting hammered by the wind. <laughs> so many red grouse. I am in a shooting estate, so unfortunately it is being managed for being sh for killing these grouse, which is pretty ridiculous. But that's the way it is right now. A red grouse just flew right in front of me here, so I'm trying to hold in front of the microphone. Um, Alright, let's try and get some photos of these guys. in front of me in the line here. Well, that was just amazing. Two red grouse just ran across me here in the heather. Anyways, let's keep looking out for this golden plover. Okay. Ah. Uh, snow. snowballs. Uh, I can't hear the singing of the golden plover anymore but it was around here somewhere. The problem is the wind is so strong it's just kind of blocking any kind of any sound. So many grouse up here. What a place this is. Alright, I've walked far off the path. I've been listening and looking for this golden plover that I heard for quite some time now. I think, I'm gonna leave it be just now. I made a note on my map where it is, and that's something I can come back for another time. Today, I was just out here for a bit of a recce, taking you guys along, and who knows, maybe we'll see something else as well. I'll do this circular loop around this hill in front of me. It still has a little bit of snow on it. It's nice to have the meadow pipit, the song of the meadow pipit just following me around the hills.
This is so amazing. Just had two red grouse come out on the snow behind me. Um, well, the sun is behind them. I think that actually kind of worked. I'll see how it is on back home on the computer, but it was cool anyway. Nice to find these little micro habitats here. Well, there's still a little bit of snow. And this is just on this side of the hill, so very likely this is going to be north. I can't believe how much I've seen today, or heard. I had that golden plover singing or calling up on the hill. And um, so I'm just hunkering down here and holding over the microphone and hopefully you guys can hear me. Coming down this hill, which is where, this is where I wanted to look for black grouse or um, possibility of black grouse lacking anyways, any signs. And when I come down here, I instantly see two lap wings. Then I, then I hear them singing as well. Then I hear two curlews, and then I see them flying about. And then finally I see a snipe as well, just flying. So it's like almost all the, the kind of the, the birds that you get breeding up on these hills, I've kind of seen in this little area that I'm in. Absolutely amazing. And I really want to come back here for dawn and really try and capture them a bit more. Um, I tried to film a little bit, but it was so shaky. The wind is really strong right now. Um, and if you've ever seen the left wing, they, they fly quite erratically as well. So I guess that's them trying to set up breeding territories up here and they'll start to, start to breed up here soon. So exciting, exciting springtime up ahead. Absolutely amazing. I just came out for a bit of a recce. I just brought this camera. I didn't even know that I was going to film, but I decided I will. And I also decided that I'm going to try to make a vlog every day while this is going on. Every day I have the chance while this is going on. Some will be short, some will be longer. Some will probably be quite me just rambling and not really, no plan to it. Just taking you guys with me out on my daily walk or maybe a bit in the garden, photographing birds or whatever else I get up to. Um, just kind of checking in, saying hi, and please leave comments to how you guys are doing, how are you guys getting through this. I know it can't be easy, especially in the bigger cities where people are cooped up in apartments and don't have outside spaces like this readily available. Um, and this is definitely not to show off, this is just kind of to share and keep myself a little bit of sane doing this. I hope you guys are all all right and take care of each other. Thank you guys so much for participating in the hashtag Corvid not COVID. It's really cool to see everyone um, taking part of it. And um, yeah, absolutely loving it. Keep it coming and I'll keep sharing. And also I'd like to keep it going. So I'd like to, um, I'd like some help actually coming out with uh, a new hashtag where um, basically the next, the next one won't just be Corvid. Basically any wildlife that you can photograph from your home while you're in isolation, quarantine, or however you're affected. Um, that'd be really cool um, to see you guys, what you guys come up with. Do share it and uh, please help me come up with a hashtag for that one. It needs to be something specific that nobody's thought of before. Um, so check it out on Instagram before, um, before suggesting it. See that it's available and nobody's actually using it. Uh, it'd be really cool to get some help on this one. So I've just come in a circle around this hill behind me here and I've come to this little ford. I think that's what it's called. And it just doesn't look like I'm going to be able to cross it without getting soaked. My boots, my Mammoth boots used to be very waterproof. Now on my right foot now it's definitely got a hole in it. I want to walk up a little bit to see if I can cross it. I don't mind getting wet 
only annoying thing is probably won't dry fast enough for tomorrow and then I gotta put wet boots on tomorrow now that's this that just sucks all right there's a couple of rocks here but that looks dodgy let's walk a little bit further I know that it's definitely better to just walk in and get wet rather than risk stepping on rocks and breaking a leg or something like that. But, and so we're just gonna have to walk through this. Yeah, I'm not getting through this without getting wet. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't want to put wet shoes on. I'm going to take my shoes off across this bare feet. Okay, this is going to be cold. Try to ignore me if I scream. Ooh, that's refreshing. Ooh, oh. oh, it's getting cold. Okay. Ooh. All right, that woke me up. Get these back on. Let's go home. Let's upload this video. See you tomorrow.